Good day, students. We are now on the second part of our module. So we will be discussing about the difference between markup and margin, how to calculate and solve for it, as well as on how to convert markup to margin and vice versa. So let us go now on how to convert markup to margin and vice versa. This is possible even if the amount of the selling price cost or even the markup is not given in an ambiguous case. We might use certain formula to do this. Let us have the first case. Given the markup, we solve for the margin as margin is equal to markup all over 1 plus markup multiplied by 100. Remember that before using this formula, we must be able to convert the markup from percent to a decimal form. Given with the first example, for your selling price, cost, and markup, in terms of what portion of a markup are those three? For your selling price, we have it as 150%. For the cost, you'll have 100%. For markup, you'll have 50%. Remember that cost plus markup will be your selling price. So that's why 100% for your cost plus 50% markup yields you 150% as your selling price in comparison with the markup. Now in margin, we treat the selling price as 100% because as we all know, that margin is the same as the markup percentage based on selling price. So that the cost and markup will share a portion from the 100% of your selling price as the base. Now let us have this example. If your markup is 50% based on the cost, so, you will have to convert 50% into decimal by moving the decimal point twice to the left. So, from 50%, you will have it in decimal form as 0 0.5 and proceed to the formula. So, you will have your margin as 0 0.5 all over 1 plus 0 0.5 times 100 to 0 0.5 all over 1.5 times 100. Then simplify it, then you will have it as 33.33%. So from the markup based on cost, or simply markup which is 50% that is converted to margin or which is the same as the markup based on selling price, we have it as 33.33%. Remember that the margin is always less than the markup because margin is based on the selling price while markup is based on the cost. So now... Let's have the cost converted as margin. Definitely, we have the margin of the selling price as 100%. So now, since we already solved for the cost, we might assume that we will subtract the converted margin from 100% and you will have the cost. In this case, 100% minus 33.33%, that gives you 66.67%. That will be now your cost as part of your selling price. For in the same way, if the margin is already given, then compute the markup by using this formula. So markup is equal to margin all over 1 minus margin multiplied by 100. So if your markup is missing and the margin is given as 33.33%, you will have to convert 33.33% first into decimal form. So you will have it as 0.3333. Let us substitute this value to the given formula. So markup is equal to 0.3333 all over 1 minus 0.3333 multiplied by 100. By simplifying it, you will have 0.3333 all over 0.6667 times 100. That gives you 1 half multiplied by 100 that gives you 50%. Therefore, the selling price based on cost is equal to 100% plus 50% that is equal to 150%. Which now reverted back to the selling price based on cost which is 150% a while ago. So we can say that when we are converting markup to margin or the other way, the percentage value may change but the amount of markup, whether it is based on cost or in the selling price, remains the same. Bottom line is, when the base is cost, probably the selling price can go higher than 100%. While if the selling price is the base, since part ni selling price si cost at markup, mas liliit ang percentage value kapag margin ang pinag-uusapan natin. So let us now go to the markdown. 
So, traders would sometimes reduce the selling price to stimulate the increased sales and to meet the prices of the competitors. So, all this reduction in selling prices is called the markdown. So, kapag ka gusto ng isang businessman na mapaubos ang stocks niya, maybe due to overstocking or unupdated or obsolete items or even dahil sa competitors niya sa business, he may opt to lower down his original selling price. Then that would be the idea of markdown. You may still sell your commodities at a lower price para hindi masaya ang stocks at may benta agad ito. Otherwise, it will be a loss. It can also lead your product in a break-even point price or what you call balik puhunan. So, that means cost is equal to your new selling price. So, let us have this example. So, if an item selling for 450 pesos is marked to sell at 400 pesos, the mark down is the difference between the original price and the new selling price. So how to solve for markdown? So markdown is equal to original price minus the new selling price. Since your original price is 450 pesos and then the new selling price is 400 pesos. So to compute for markdown, you'll have 450 minus 400 that gives you 50 pesos. So 50 pesos now is your markdown. And to compute for your markdown rate, you will have to divide the amount of markdown all over the original price multiplied by 100 and that will be your markdown rate or your markdown percentage. So in this case, you will have 50 pesos as your markdown divided by its original price which is 450 pesos. So that gives you 0 0.1111 multiply it by 100 so you will have it in percent form. So 0 0.1111 multiplied by 100 that is 11.8. 11%. So that will be now your markdown rate. So to compute for the rate of your new selling price based on the original price, you will have to deduct the markdown rate from 100%, which is the base of your original price. So 100% minus 11.11%, .11%, that gives you 88.89%. So 88.89% is now the rate of your new selling price versus the original price. And there you have it. So we have reached the end of this module. So always remember that in purchasing, whether you are the buyer or the vendor, you must know how it is priced and if it is worth to buy or if it is reasonable to price a commodity at that specified amount. So that's all students and you may now answer the activities in your module. See you in the coming video presentations ahead and thank you for watching. God bless. Happy learning at home with lessons made easy by Olivarian Go Teach. One proud Olivarian.